Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here with my January wrap up video. I read seven books in January, which is actually a really, really good effort for me. I've been struggling to read for like the last 10 months, so I'm so proud that I finally read so many books. I've also been in Japan from like the second half of January, which is actually where I did all of my reading, but I also came back with a terrible cold, so if I sound weird or if I start having a coughing fit midway through a video, don't worry about it, I'm just trying to like get through the daily existence of life with a cold. These are in no particular order, I'm just grabbing another pile next to me and I will talk about each of them a little bit and my opinions on these books. First off, if you watch my videos you know that I'm Colleen Hoover Trash and so I read Hopeless when I was over there. I don't know why I haven't read this book yet, I think I've had it on my TBR shelf for a while and I think I'm just confused about if I've read her books or not at this point, but I hadn't read Hopeless yet so I devoured this one really really quickly. I do not think that I'll be reading Losing Hope which I'm guessing is from Dean's perspective because I'm kind of not the biggest fan of reading two books about the same story from two different perspectives. I would much rather just have them all into one book, but we don't get that in the story, so I'm going to just stick with Hopeless. Colleen Hoover is a romance author, and like I said, I am absolutely trash for all of her books. I love everything she does, probably except without merit, but we aren't going to talk about that one right now because we're talking about Hopeless. So in this book you have a young girl called Skye and she goes to high school where she meets the mysterious Dean Holder who seems to think he has some sort of connection with her. He is creepy and weird and he kind of stalks her a little bit and she's not really sure what's happening here but anyway they choose to get to know each other and secrets become revealed and it gets pretty hectic. It was actually a lot heavier and a bit more emotional than I was expecting. Um, it is not my favourite by Colleen Hoover although I did actually enjoy this one. I think I'd probably give it like three and a half, four stars. It is really, really, really hot here in Australia at the moment, so I've turned the aircon on, so if you guys hear the sounds, I'm sorry, but I need it to survive. So the next book on this list is probably my all-time favourite from what I have read in January. It's probably going to be one of my top tens for 2018 already. I'm trying to broaden my range um, in reading at the moment, so when I saw this book, it had a really nice cover, and I really like nice covered books, so I really hope that the storyline was going to be good as well, and it turns out it was amazing. So it is the crime novel The Scandal by Frederick Backman. It also has an alternative title, which is Bear Town, and this is based around a very small hockey town in the middle of nowhere, and the entire town relies on this one hockey team to not only bring everyone together, but to also bring their town back from this bankruptcy that they're all in. So if this hockey team wins the championships, they're going to get a new hockey stadium there, which will bring in all new kinds of money and people and everything like that to pretty much bring the town back to life. And that is when a scandal happens. I want to convince all of you guys to read this, but what actually convinced me to buy this book is the first chapter. Late one evening, towards the end of March, a teenager picked up a double-barreled shotgun, walked into the forest, put the gun to someone else's forehead, and pulled the trigger. This is the story of how we got there. If that doesn't intrigue you just a little bit, then um, I don't know what I could say to make you read it. This next one is a pretty big fan favourite, and that is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. I had a bunch of people telling me that I would love this book, and me being very stubborn thought, I'm not going to read this, I did not like the last book, I was never really a big fan of Kale, why would I read this? Well, here is the second five-star book on my pile, because I loved Tower of Dawn. It was really great meeting new characters, and seeing old characters develop, and having it in this different place compared to all the other series. It was refreshing and new, and I loved everything about this one. First, I'd like to thank Penguin for sending me out this next book, which is Batman Nightwalker by Mary Lou. I really wanted to read the DC Legends books. I still haven't bought Catwoman by Sarah J Maas yet, but I will eventually. However, my first experience with them is that Batman was a very average book. This book lacked a lot of action and plot twists that they could have been in it. Um, it was quite a predictable novel, and there were just parts that were flat out boring. If you do like the DC Universe, I do recommend picking it up. You do get a bit of insight into characters and you see familiar old faces from the movies and stuff like that but I just I didn't love it so I probably would give it two and a half to three star ratings. This next book doesn't actually come out until the 8th of March but I can say now it's going to be well loved for anyone who reads Young Adult. It is a really good fantasy book that I enjoyed. I gave it a four star rating and I can tell it's going to be big. And that one is Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adeyemi. I'm not actually sure if it's a standalone or a series but when I finished this book I was still left wanting more and I want more like right now. I want to continue reading it because I just want to know more about these characters and this world and everything else that was created 
created in this book. So this book is set in a world where you have people who are born with magic and people who are born without it. People who are born with magic have white hair that really makes them stand out against the crowd. This was not a good thing for them though when the king wanted to destroy all magic. So magic was taken from them and then he continued on to slaughter every magic user that he could find. Luckily you have to be 13 years old for your magic to kick in. So he did not kill anyone who was under the age of 13. So in this world you still have people with their white hair who could be magic users. And that is a wonderful thing for this plot because in this you have a scroll that can potentially return magic back to these people. And you have someone who is going to go on a mission with another person and it's pretty epic and it's a wonderful adventure and great things happen and I highly recommend that you guys pick this up when it is released because I did really really enjoy it and despite it being a big book I powered through it pretty quickly. Second last was The Husband's Secret by Lianne Moriarty. It is my first book by her. However, I just didn't really get into it too much. I felt like there was a lot of useless information in this book and I would focus on every little bit of information thinking it would have some relevance to the plot and it never did. So I'd probably give this one a two and a half to three star rating. Um, this one follows a woman called Cecilia and she finds a letter from her husband that says to open in case of his death. And she opens the letter and basically mayhem ensues. I don't really know how to use correct words for this one. I haven't actually thought about this book too much. Once I finished it, I moved on to another one and it didn't really stay in my mind for too long. And the last book on my pile that I read in January is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabotsky. And unfortunately, I'd probably give this one either a two or three star rating. I did not enjoy it as much as I was hoping I would. And maybe that's because I watched the movie before I read the book. But unfortunately, this book just fell super flat for me. I could not relate to the characters and I feel like there wasn't even much given to you to relate to them. It didn't help that I did not like the writing style as much and of course because I knew what was going to happen because I watched the movie I didn't really feel the need to keep turning the pages and I did skim read a little bit of this. If you haven't heard of The Perks Being a Wallflower it is a coming of age story following a young boy called Charlie. Um, he's not like the other kids, he's a bit more of a wallflower so he likes to keep to himself and to watch everyone but when you watch everyone you discover a lot of secrets and you also learn to hide a lot of your own. There it is quite a heavy and emotional book. There are some parts that did almost bring tears to my eyes and I would recommend that if you don't want to read the book you should watch the movie because it is really really good. So there you guys have all the books that I read in January. If you want to talk about any of these books hit me up man. I love talking about all of these and I just I loved a few of them disliked a little bit of them but no matter what I'm always down to talk about books 24 7. I am also doing some social media giveaways on my Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook and Instagram for my bath bombs. Um, this ends on February 19th but if you go onto any of those social medias which I shall link below you will find a photo which says giveaway and you can have a chance to win one of your Hogwarts house themed bath bombs. And although shipping is an absolute bitch it is an international giveaway so everyone is welcome to participate. There's also 10% off all bath bombs store wide at Tillian her books and I also just did plans for 13 new bath bombs that'll be coming out within the end of this month slash start of the next month including a Star Wars range who is excited for the solo trailer which is being released tomorrow which means that when I post this it's probably gonna be out. Anyway that's a lot of excess information you probably didn't want to hear but thank you guys for watching and hopefully I should be back in another video soon and until then have a lovely bookish day and make great things happen to you. Bye! Hey guys, it's Tilly. You know, that girl that said she would go back to posting videos regularly and then just never did. Well, today I am back and I am not making any promises on doing a video schedule.